I love the sea, but for me, it's what's under the surface that I love to discover the most. When I was young and would swim in the lake, I was always very scared of what was at the bottom. As an adult, I made it my mission to learn to scuba dive, to face my fears. I think diving is the perfect metaphor for the therapeutic process. We don't go to therapy to swim in the shallow waters. We need to dive deep and go into some dark, dangerous, scary places, uncover things about ourselves that maybe we keep hidden. And it's only when we explore those things that we can truly begin to heal. There is beauty in wreckage and it takes diving deep to uncover our treasures. I am a woman with a long story involving both wreckage and treasures. As a child, I was bullied and I struggled with depression and self-esteem issues. I'm very empathetic and my deep emotions did not help me at all. I traveled a dark road for a while and I struggled with mental health. And when I turned 21, I knew that things had to change or I could lose my life. I found help through therapy, spiritual awakening, and learning about personal development. Slowly, I began to grow stronger and put myself back together, piece by piece. I have a master's degree in counseling, but I truly have a PhD in life experience. I always knew I wanted to help people and that becoming a therapist was my true calling. I've traveled, lived, and worked abroad, which has helped me understand different cultures and faiths. And I embrace diversity of all kinds. I believe in viewing each person as a complex web. I don't just treat symptoms, but I attempt to understand the person as a whole, including genetics, upbringing, and experiences. I work with adolescents, individuals, and couples. I'm a wife and mother to two amazing children, and I've written several books to help young kids better understand empathy and mindfulness. I see empathy as the key to successful therapy. So many people think that therapy is about fixing, solving, or giving advice, but it's not. It's about listening, validating, and ensuring someone feels heard and understood. Therapy is a journey, and most people enter my office with very little hope for themselves or for change. When working with them, I hold the hope for them until they can hold it for themselves.